Tēnā koutou katoa. Welcome, uh, everyone, today. Thank you, Jenny, uh, for your very kind introduction. It's my honour to be addressing you all today, including Dame Patsy Reddy and Sir David Gascoigne, uh, to Sir Graham and Lady Dingle, and, of course, to Jenny and her incredible team. Uh, but most importantly, it's an honour to be addressing today's award recipients. Uh, firstly, I wanted to start today by telling you a little bit about me and our company, Stride Property Group who, as Jenny mentioned, is very proud to be today's sponsor. My name is Philip Littlewood, and I am the CEO of Stride. You may not have heard of our company before, but just so firstly, a little bit about us. Stride is a large New Zealand-owned property company uh, with about $2.5 billion in assets. We are listed on the New Zealand Stock Exchange, and about 98% of our shareholders are New Zealanders. We invest in, we develop, and we manage commercial property throughout New Zealand from Kirikiri in the north uh, to Invercargill in the south and many places in between, and from office buildings to industrial warehouses, from large format retail to town centres. We are a company, a little bit like the foundation, that has grown from humble beginnings of about 20 years ago, when a group of people who then worked for a company that was going through a number of corporate restructurings decided that instead of leaving that company and getting new jobs, they would start their own company instead. As you can imagine, this required a big leap of faith into the unknown, not unlike the journey many of you have been on this year. Today, around 105 people work with me at Stride. Across, across Stride's portfolios, we have over 600 businesses, leasing spaces we provide. These businesses employ tens of thousands of people in New Zealand, and our properties are visited tens of millions of times each year, and in many cases, uh, form part of the local uh, of the fabric of the local communities, businesses, and New Zealanders' lives. We interact with these businesses on a daily basis, and they range from some of the smallest uh, in New Zealand, say a flower shop or uh, your local hairdresser, through to some of New Zealand's largest businesses. And in many ways, this is part of what I like uh, the most about working in our industry, and in that we get to meet with and work with a huge range of people across New Zealand. So you can safely say that the success of our business is inextricably linked to the success of the whole of New Zealand. Without the budding entrepreneurs willing to take a chance and start a business, without communities supporting their local people, without the active contributions that we all make to society, and without all of us paying our part in investing in our next generation of leaders, we would never be able to achieve the success that we have been fortunate enough to reach over these past 20 years. And so to our involvement in the Graham Dingle Foundation, we've been involved with the foundation for about 10 years now. The foundation was first introduced to Stride by one of our directors, uh, a gentleman by the name of John Harvey, um, when um, John was the managing partner of PwC. John had been very impressed with both the vision and drive that Sir Graham had for the foundation, but I think most importantly for the tangible difference uh, the foundation made to the lives of young New Zealanders. I think this is my fifth or sixth time I've attended these awards, and it's one event I really look forward to each year. I know it takes huge courage for the recipients to stand up here in front of everyone and to tell your story, but I can tell you that the insight your stories give to people like me is incredibly valuable. They are heartwarming and encouraging, and at times, heartbreaking. Without doubt, the biggest feeling I have when leaving this event is this. When people are given a chance, and a genuine chance, with a structure of support, care, and guidance, just how much can be achieved, and in a relatively short period of time. I frequently hear stories uh, like uh, those from the Project K programs, that have put people outside of their comfort zone, but as a result, it has increased their confidence and leadership traits. And I wanted to share just a couple of these stories with you, with you today that have stuck out. The first one was Amenia Marchant, and I think this was 2016 or 17. And Amenia said, this sounds very familiar to my kids, I must admit to you as well. She said, I was very hesitant to join Special K. I didn't know what to expect, and I wasn't that keen on camping, especially with people I barely knew and for such a long time and then they tell me I can't take my phone. What? Spelt W-H-A-A-A-A-A-T. But Amelia, it, it worked out well for her. She said at the end, I now have the confidence to follow my dreams 
and I look forward to what the future brings for me. And then there was uh, Duante who said, or who summarised his experience by saying, during my time, my self-confidence has improved. It has challenged me to try new things and shows that despite anyone's needs, the foundation was able to provide me with the right support, nurturing and determination to help me succeed. Uh, and finally, uh, there was Bailey Roma, and I think Bailey spoke at the first event that I attended back in 2015, and many of you will probably remember Bailey. Um, she started her speech um, when talking about her mentor and saying, and I quote, I got the old guy. <laughs> See, my mentor was a 50-something year old man, 50 years old. Um, I wasn't sure if I'd made the right decision, but I went along with it anyway. Um, I do have some sympathy for Bailey's initial concerns, but so she was off to a self-described shaky start. However, as you can expect, it all turned out pretty well, and I think some of the things she said were pretty poignant, so I'll, I'll go slowly. Uh, Bailey said that her mentor taught me to appreciate the little things in life that are often, over, uh, often missed or overlooked, and to keep close to me those who I hold dearest in my life. And that when I don't achieve something, my mentor convinces me not to look at it like a failure. He helps me to see it as something else to work on, another challenge for another day. And finally, Bailey said, he taught me to believe in me, in my passion to live from within, to believe in magic, the kind that inspires change and creates hope. I thought that was pretty cool. I know that many of you will probably reflect on the completion of your program as one of the biggest achievements in your life so far, and you're probably right. But I do want to challenge that. For me, I think putting yourself out there and applying for the program in the first place was at least an equal achievement. It's that initiative to see an opportunity, to put yourself out there and to take a risk that will, that, uh, that will stand you in the best position for the future. I can promise you there will be other opportunities if you keep looking for them if you search them out, if you think, what else can I do? And if you believe it. At Stride, when we find people with that initiative, that curiosity and that determination, they are like gold dust, and we do whatever we can to support them. And so, in this year, in 2020, which has undoubtedly been one of the strangest, most challenging years that many of us have, have faced, I wanted to take this opportunity to say well done in the face of numerous challenges, you have stood up and you have excelled. You have learned, you have grown, and you have achieved. I have no doubt that your experience this year will stay with you for the rest of your lives and you will be the better for it. And so, on behalf of us all here at Stride, we wanted to say well done, congratulations, you are an inspiration to us. And keep going, don't stop here. There's plenty more opportunity for you to look forward to if you make it your own and shape your future. Thank you and good luck.